It's like, well, it's the knockout. Definition original, baby gangster. Approach me like you hard mother. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. Wow, let me get into it, man. You know, I'm a music guy. Okay. I want to hear that uh, verse, real motherfucking G's. Okay. I want to hear your verse. Do you want me to say it? Yeah. yeah. Oh, damn. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't gonna say it in the same tone that no, I was saying no, on the music. No, 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 no. But I'll just, I'll just say it like, um, you want me to just get into it? Hell yeah! What what you do? What you think this is? This, this ain't this this something different, bro. Okay, okay. You know what I'm saying? So, how it go? Yeah, how it go? So it's like well, it's the knockout definition original baby. So it's like well, it's the knockout definition original baby gangster. Approach me like you hard mother. I'ma bank ya, shank ya, whip my and shank ya if I have to. Doctor Dre and Snoop Doggy Dogger. Act us, prankster, studio gangsters, busters. But this time you're dealing with some real G's. Please don't try to step, because if you do, then a pill cap, there's all that would be left. See, young brothers like me will break you off something. Claiming my city, but Dre, you ain't from Compton. Niggas like y'all is what I call wannabes and ain't shit compared to real mother. Man! Yeah, yeah. 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 Man, I, I love music, bro. Yeah. I remember that track, man. Yeah, man. See, it's different for me because it hit different because I'm listening to both sides. I'm in the country. I did, too, though. That's the cold I, part about oh, it. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I'm, I'm a music guy. So, <laughs> so, of course. Yeah, I ain't gonna just... I wasn't that... I was... It's like this. Like, when we met Easy, we was fans of NWA, you gotta understand. Yeah, so, they yeah. all... Yeah. They all mean the same thing to yeah. us, but... We just easy gave us the opportunity, so naturally we had to back him up. Yeah, yeah. So you know what I mean. Man, but I still listen to the. Music. I loved it, man. You guys, man, made our day, man. In the south, yeah. We, you know, we we was with that movement, man. Man, we toured down there, so we saw it. Oh we got to man, see it personally. Yeah. Hey, listen, we loved it. I'm talking, about loved it. Yeah. I played it. That's why I knew them songs because yeah, yeah. I the whole thing, man, was for me. Like I seen the mishap, but I love the sparring anyway. You know, I. I love the fact of even when Ice Cube got into yeah, it with, sure. with, with them, uh, the no, no Vaseline. Vaseline. God damn, I'm glad y'all set it off. Used to be hard now. I loved yeah. all of it. That's Everything. Still, you know me, what I'm still saying? I play all of that stuff, bro. I man, like, all. like, so you was young, man. You yeah, was real young. I was 17, young. bro. 17, but I'm you 49. were 49. Holding 17. your own, though. Yeah, absolutely. You see what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Like, like so when did you know you was going to rap? Um, I started at 11, so around 1986 when I heard Boys in the Hood. Before it came out nationwide, it was just local. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So we had cassette tapes back then. End up getting a cassette tape and heard it. And I'm like, this dude is from where I'm from. This little bitty city, this 10-mile radius little city from each direction you go. And it just was amazing to me. I was like, that somebody can do that. You yeah, understand yeah. what I'm saying? And I just gravitated it, you know, gravitated towards it since then. Yeah. Wow, man. I just had AD on the, you Compton dudes. Man. Oh, AD. That's AD my boy. AD was just, he was just on, boy. he was just on the show. He, matter of fact, he was, you going to see it. Okay. He uh, interviewed uh, Compton Menace with me. Oh, that's my and boy then, too. Yeah, that's he, like my brother, then, man. Yeah, he interviewed Menace oh, with me. Hard. And then he, uh, who else did we, oh, uh, we did, uh, Mitchie Slick. We did. Oh, Mitchie, we, we, I, we, I met him we, too. Hey, man, we, like I said, AD gonna fly down to Dallas. He okay. gonna come see me. Okay. You know what I'm saying? That's like good. And, and 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 me and Menace, we FaceTiming. Man, that's e, what's my up? Brother, what's man. up? You didn't even know we rocked. Nah, up. hell no. Nah. He yeah. tell me nothing about it. That's my brother, man. Menace is like like this, bro. Man, like, Menace yeah. a dope dude. I Absolutely. told him the other day, I said, man, when I left here, I told everybody how humble you was. So I went and looked at your YouTube videos. Yeah, yeah. I said, when I see you on YouTube in that boxing ring and talking yeah, crazy, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I don't know what to think. No, man, it's a monster, man. <laughs> don't get it messed up. He's a good dude, but he got a mean streak, I love too. Menace, yeah, man. Love sure. Menace. Menace is boss talk, man. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? But that's what I'm telling you. I've been a lot of Compton dudes be on boss. Oh, yeah, yeah. I told her, I told her it was on boss talk man, at all understand time. understand we black. See, you know, most of our family is from the South, bro. Okay. Like, my, grandpa like my direct grandparents is from Atlanta. Wow. And then my great-grandparents is from... Um, from Texas, from Athens. They from Athens. Wow, Athens? Yeah, bro. Really? Absolutely. That's right up the street. That's what I'm trying to tell you. That so is crazy. So all the, all the values that you guys grew up with, yeah. we was taught that as well. It's just when drugs came in the early 80s, that kind of all went away. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah, yeah, yeah. It kind of threw everything off. Absolutely. But we got I blame y'all, though. No, I blame I mean, me. Well, yeah, you know, Because I mean, you look at the kids now, we'd be like, man, how did they 
<laughs> no, nigga, you know what happened. No, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> you know for sure. You dangle a carrot in front of a rabbit, man. What you think going Man, happen? it's going down, yeah. man. So the 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 verse, man, let's talk about that verse mm-hmm. again, man. Like when you first do that verse, like Well, it's the knockout definition original baby gangsta. Did you know that it would be as had powerful no idea, and more bro. big as it, it became? I had no idea. See, first of all, I wasn't even supposed to do the verse. Um initially my brother met Easy before me. So okay. it was these two guys. Shout out to uh, Big Daddy Pat and Jim Bob from Watts. They were some ballers from around the way, right? And I, I, I assume at the time they was trying to transition from the streets and to get into some legal business. So Easy E was their friend before he was Easy E. You wow. understand what I'm saying? And so from what I heard, there was a story that when Easy wanted to start the label, he tried to get them to go in with him. But they was having so much money and they thought he was crazy. It was like, this 1986, you talking about owning a record company? They couldn't under, they was too young to comprehend. Yeah. And so when Easy started bubbling and then the 90s came around, so you know how when dope was everywhere, you know what I'm saying, throughout, throughout the country, all the ballers started going from state to state. And so a lot of people started knowing each other. Mm-hmm. So then when people started going down, started telling, that hatchet is coming, right? Yeah, so yeah. now niggas is trying to escape. Yeah, yeah. So this is what they, you know, this is the thing that they were on. And um, when they came on the block and asked us to rap for them, my brother, me and my brother was there. We rapped for them. They was like, tomorrow y'all be here at this time. We're going to take y'all to the studio. They wow. didn't say with who. Mm-hmm. But I've been through that. My brother was fresh out of uh, youth authority, yeah, like yeah, yeah, junior yeah. prison, right? So he didn't have nowhere to go. I've been out here, you know what I'm saying? Oh, really? so, yeah, so when they came on the block, I wasn't there. My brother was there. They picked him up. He go to the studio. He come back home like three o'clock in the morning. He got five songs with Easy E. Five? Yeah, like my brother prolific. Like he, he's he's the dopest. He's the one who wrote that whole concept, the whole song. Really? Yeah. Except my verse, but everything else is him. That so he put it all together. Yeah, absolutely. That's crazy. So he came behind Dre. Yeah. And started writing for Easy. Absolutely. Pretty much. Absolutely. Wow. Yeah. And. Everything Man. from 93 up until he passed away is pretty much my brother, Cocaine, Code 187 from Above the Law. And I what think Cretch wrote for him, too. What were some of them songs? It was like the whole, the whole, the album that, that re- the one you just quoted. It was on. called Dr. Dre 187 Killer. That's what it was called. Dr. Dre 187 Killer. Yeah, it's on Dr. Dre It was Dre a lot of different songs on there, though. It wasn't just that one. No, nah, no. Nah. And it was that jamming, was the main though. main one, though. Yeah, but we were jamming, though. Yeah, yeah. For you sure. Know? You had, um, you had It's On, Well, If It's On, Motherfucker. Well, If It's On, Motherfucker. Man, I can hear them. It was a few. I can't remember. It was a few. No, I'm gonna go back down through them though. Yeah, yeah. Because I I remember that time period because I was riding around thinking I would fly anyway. Right, right, right. right. You know, would probably be a younger man back then too. I was dealing. I was hustling. Yeah, yeah. And people don't realize that, man. Everybody, it was it was crazy in the south. No, you know, we were getting weight down there. You know what I'm saying? We seen it, man. When he brought us out there, it was like we was like this. They ain't no different than where we come from. You, you know remember what I mean? that? Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk.